Ladies and gentlemen, I had lunch with a friend of mine yesterday, and he goes, dude, why don't you do some surf rock stuff? I said, let's do it. I've, <laughs> I've never learned any surf rock tunes. Why not? I know it's going to be soaked in reverb with single coils, but uh, bring it on. And so lo and behold, I open up my email today, and I got a message from my friend Mike Ballow. He says, this is super cool early stuff, not fake. I like that. Here we go. Let's see what the shadows, Apache, 1960. Yes. Got to wait. Just, just, you know, let's talk about this intro real quick. I don't know if you call this a music video or what, uh, or what this is, but uh, bass player smoking, black and white, just the kick drum. Oh, my God. Let's go back and get what we have so far here. doing it open so you can get that uh, the tremolo bar which I don't have all right let's go back yeah there's that major third for D major sounds bright right so they got so it's a minor to D major here so I'm thinking maybe a Dorian let's see where we go So you got that rhythm pattern of that, 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 uh... Ah, uh, sorry. So you got A minor. To D major. Uh, here we go. Love how the drums are right with it. Everyone's smoking. There's smoke everywhere. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's get that. G. So you got the... So A minor. Do a G here. So we're kind of thinking we're in the key of G, sort of. You know, maybe. Um, because we have a D major, A minor, and now a G major. You know? But so you got that... 
What did it be for that? Back to A minor. Love this. So F. So and then, and then shaking it with that uh, the vibrato. But what's cool about this is that he's doing the the fifth root, fifth, 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 and that one half step to get to the fifth of the A minor. That that's very cool. Real bouncy on that rhythm guitar that Yeah. There it is with that B getting that third. You're walking across F major. Get that B, which is the third of G as it goes over the G chord. Does it go to the C there, or does it just imply that little try that little uh, arpeggio? So it goes to C, and then A minor. Then. So you got uh, F major arpeggio across. There's your G, you're getting your B note, your third of G. Right? And then it goes to C here, right? that time. Mm. <coughs> it's harder than it think looks like. Yeah. So go to the G. <coughs> what was that? Gosh. All right, let's go back a little bit. Sorry ladies and gentlemen, starting to stopping a lot on this one. This this is not my uh how oh, I wanted this to go. C7, C7. So you got F, G, and then it's, and then it's I think I hear a C7. <laughs> yeah. So all I did there is I guessed that he's going up there. I'm hearing a seventh in there. I'm just guessing that uh, you know there's gonna be that B flat in there because I'm thinking C seven. I think I'm hearing that. So this is the fifth and a flat seven. That's just an educated guess. Sounds like he's doing that. And of course it's functioning, so it goes to the F. C seven five F. same riff. You 
can see him going up, so maybe he's... Just to get a different sound. over D minor. So basically the same move as you're doing before over A minor. But this time you're moving everything over a string set and you're accommodating for the change of the tuning discrepancy between the second and third string. So that's why your move looks like that instead of straight over. But it's... Now when you go to this note, you're implying G major, that's the third. When you go over here, that's the third of D, that's F sharp. Now, that's your third of G, that's, that's B. G sharp over a C7 here. So like a flat, he's like making that flat six over a C7. He's just kind of like teasing the fifth is really what it comes down to. If that's so, that is really cool. God damn it. I gotta figure out this. Yeah, because you hear it, and it goes to the F. Does it, is it even C7 there, or is it just the G? I think it's staying on the G there. Arpeggio. Probably going up one string though. So the arpeggio of F major is F, A, and C. So, yeah. <laughs> and then probably the root. And then going back that half step to get the E, which is the fifth of A. That's how that melody connects. Grabbing his cigarette again. There you go. He's finished. He's finished, ladies and gentlemen. He's done. Drops it on the ground, smashes it with his foot next to a bucket, and that's how they end the video with a fade out. No one does fade outs. I feel like I just had this conversation on a gig this weekend. We're talking about fade outs. Wild, wild, wild. All right, thank you, Mike. Very, very cool. Um, so there's a bunch of cool stuff happening in here. It starts out, obviously this is all instrumental. It starts out with, you know, just that that kick drum. I guess given the name Apache, it's supposed to be that Indian drum sound, right? And then that is kind of mirrored, excuse me, that's mirrored uh, with the rhythm guitar and the snare throughout the song, right? That right? 
and then it comes in and your main chords are A minor and D major and you have this lick root flat three and tease the four up to the flat five and back real bluesy thing and then D major same two first two notes A C and then you have a So what this is here is you have your fifth of D, you have your fourth of D, and your ninth of D. So really, this is a lick they just came up with thinking in A minor, right? This doesn't say anything about D. The chord just happens to go over D. It comes from the... Your... Uh, a minor pentatonic shape. So probably does it open because you hear him ring, you know, uh, moving the trem bar and letting it ring out. Then it, if I remember correctly, then it goes into that signature kind of um, uh, hook, that motif, that that. And now this is. And I'm talking in terms of A now, right? So it's over A minor. You have fifth root, fifth root. Now it goes to D major. There's your F sharp. That's the first note that dictates D major. And then walking down, three, two, one, and D. And then hammering back on E, which is the fifth of A minor. So the melody, the hook of this tune uh, is all kind of around resolving to the fifth of A minor. That's that's really the story of this. So we have A minor and D major. Then we go into this second part where, you know, I might have to bring this up again, but it goes A minor, and then it goes D minor, where it moves everything over. Right? into a G, so D minor to a G. Same thing, everything's moved over. So fifth root, fifth root, major third of G, two, one, fifth of D. Then it has this What that is, it's going to an F major. So F major makes sense if you have a D minor because um, you know they're relative majors and minors. They both obviously have an F in it. F is what makes D minor D minor as opposed to F sharp would make it D major. And they're pushing off the fifth here. Again, always resolving to that fifth of A minor. Then it does this cool thing where it goes F, walks over the F major triad, F, A, C, and then B over the G chord, and then Now this is tricky, because once it goes up here, that E, the fifth of C major, once it walks down, then it, it just walks down the same pentatonic scale. Because remember, C major, A minor, they're relative majors and minors, so their pentatonic scale and full scale is identical, right? And so it ends, this time on the root of A minor, right? So you got... right uh, this is a 1982 bullet beat to all get out it's my favorite guitar but it's virtually unplayable intonation's all out of whack the next messed up truss rods coming out the back 
headstock's been broken off. Had to make a new pickup jack here. Um, can't stay in tune at all. It's a total mess. Uh, any difference amount of pressure changes your note. You always play out of tune. But I love it. And there you have it. Anyhow, so that one, the second time, it finishes on G. Uh, and lets the G ring out. Then, uh, I'm kind of forgetting here a little bit. Might have to re-listen. There's that one part where it goes back into that, it goes back into it, before it goes to the F, it does a C7, sounds like. And then it's got this little up here where you're hitting the fifth and the flat seven. And then uh, at the very end, it's got that walk up, that major uh, arpeggio F A C F E and that's kind of how it ends um really really cool tune my I, I'm going to I'm going to try it one more time and uh I'll I'll keep the camera on but my key takeaway with this is just that you know, you have that driving rhythm throughout the whole thing, and there's times where the band hits, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but it's really just about connecting those melodies and chords. Uh, really, what's what's wild about this tune is that it's altering between D major and D minor. So if you look at all the chords in this thing, you have a C major, an F major, a G major. So, and an A minor. Those all fit in the key of C. So you're thinking A minor, right? A, A minor, Aeolian. So you're straight up in A minor. The chord that doesn't work is A, uh, is D major, which is that, which is that. Is that note, it is the F sharp. That's the wild card. So to me, you know, while I started thinking this was Dorian, that's just not the case. It is A minor, but that first little part of it, that D is borrowed. Um, that D is borrowed. Uh, they just made it. They just made it D major to get that little hook, and it really makes it. It really makes it, especially when it contrasts with the D minor. When you go to that F. <laughs> I mean, it really stands out because you've been hearing F sharp the whole tune. Um, and that's just really, really cool. And I love how the melody always resolves to the fifth of A minor. That seems to be the, the overarching theme of it. The only other chord that doesn't really fit or that's altered in any way is that C7, that, that where you're throwing a B flat over that C. And the only reason they're doing that is to create that tension to go back to that F, to really push back to that F. It's a, funct it's a functioning dominant chord. Anyhow, I'm gonna play through it one more time. I will keep the camera on. I just wanna make sure that I'm right. But thank you so much. Thanks for your support. Thanks, Mike, for throwing this in here. Thanks for liking, subscribing. And remember, drop links in the comments. I wanna go on any tangent you want, any genre. It doesn't have to be all the same stuff. Let's switch it up. I'm totally down for some challenges to try new stuff. We're doing this together. We're all getting better at the same time. So please do that. And remember, if you want to support the channel, if you like my teaching style, playing style, um, and you want to learn my whole step-by-step -step thing that I do, hit the first link in the description, join me at guitargate.com, subscribe for 10 bucks, and I'd love to be your online teacher. Here we go. Let's hit this one more time. I'm not going to start and stop this time. I'm just going to make sure I have Definitely missed that the first time.
I was wrong before. That is definitely over the C7. That. Definitely over the C7. God, that's wild.